Imagine a challenge so impossible, so absurd, that it seemed like a joke. A challenge that required someone to transport a massive block of ice, three tons of it, from the freezing Arctic to the scorching deserts of Africa, without any refrigeration. And for what? A jaw-dropping reward of $48 million in today's money. Sounds like a plot straight out of a Hollywood movie, right? But no, this was real. And the most insane part? Someone actually tried to do it. This is the mind-blowing story of one of the greatest challenges ever thrown at mankind. The Ice Challenge of 1958. It all started in 1958 in Luxembourg, Europe, home to a radio station called Radio Luxembourg. This station had a global reach, its signals bouncing off the atmosphere, reaching listeners across continents. One day, they announced a challenge that left the world in shock. Transport, a three-ton block of ice from the Arctic to Africa using land routes without refrigeration. The prize, 100,000 francs per kilogram, which translates to an insane $48 million today. It sounded like pure madness. The journey would span 8,500 kilometers, passing through Europe's rugged terrain and Africa's unforgiving deserts, where temperatures soared above 50 degrees Celsius. Who could possibly achieve such a feat? And more importantly, why would anyone even try? For months, no one dared to step forward. It seemed impossible. Then, out of nowhere, a man named Birger Natvik came forward. Natvik wasn't an adventurer, a daredevil, or a scientist. He was the managing director of an insulation company in Norway. However, he believed that the same insulation materials used for insulin storage could keep the ice from melting on this impossible journey. His reasons? First, if he succeeded, his company would receive global recognition for free. And second, even if Radio Luxembourg backed out, the PR would be priceless. Natvik wasn't just taking on the challenge, he was betting his entire reputation on it. He assembled a team of expert drivers, a mechanic, and two cameramen to document the journey, the mission to prove the impossible possible. The world watched in disbelief as the team embarked on their journey on February 27, 1959. The massive block of ice was carefully cut, wrapped in special insulation, and loaded onto a truck. With everything in place, they hit the road. Destination, Africa. The journey started in Norway and took them through Europe, Oslo, Copenhagen, Hamburg, Paris, and finally Marseille. Along the way, people lined the streets cheering them on. Police even escorted them through major cities. The cold European climate worked in their favor. But the real challenge was yet to come, crossing into Africa. From Marseille, the ice was shipped to Algiers, and the real test began, crossing the vast and merciless Sahara. The heat was relentless. The roads, non-existent. The dangers, unpredictable. The region was engulfed in the Algerian War of Independence, and the team had to rely on the French Foreign Legion for protection in certain areas. But the biggest enemy was the sand. The truck kept getting stuck, forcing the team to dig it out repeatedly. Hours turned into days. Each minute that passed meant more ice melting. The pressure was on. Could they make it before the ice was gone? Against all odds, the team pushed forward. They battled exhaustion, dehydration, and technical failures. But after 28 days of sheer determination, they finally reached Libreville, Gabon. The entire world held its breath as they opened the container. And what they saw left everyone speechless. The ice was still there. Incredibly, out of the original 3,050 kilograms, only 335 kilograms had melted, meaning 2,715 kilograms of ice had survived the journey. The people of Gabon, many of whom had never seen ice before, touched and marveled at the frozen miracle from the Arctic. But here's the real twist, the one that makes this story even more unbelievable. Do you remember that massive cash prize? the 100,000 francs per kilogram of ice that survived? Well, it turns out Radio Luxembourg had withdrawn the prize before the journey even started. 
Yes, the entire adventure, the sweat, the struggle, the fight against nature was all for nothing. Or so it seemed. Because in the end, this wasn't about money. It was about proving the impossible possible. And in doing so, Natvik and his team didn't just make history, they became legends. Natvik's team had done the impossible. They didn't get a single franc from Radio Luxembourg, but they won something far greater, a place in history. Glassvat proved that their insulation technology was revolutionary, and their story became an inspiration for generations to come. Today, the legend of the Great Ice Challenge continues to inspire adventurers, scientists, and dreamers around the world. It proved one thing, that no challenge is truly impossible if you have the guts to take it on. So, what do you think? Could you have taken on this challenge? Let us know in the comments below. And if you love thrilling, mind-bending stories like this, make sure to subscribe to Mysterious World and hit that bell icon so you never miss out. Until next time, stay curious, stay adventurous, and keep exploring the unknown.